Monkey D. Luffy is the captain of the Straw Hat Pirates and a member of the worst generation. He set out on his journey to become the Pirate King at the age of 14. So far, Luffy has achieved many amazing things. He has taken down some of the greatest pirates in One Piece, which has helped him make a name for himself. However, none of his achievements come close to what he managed to do in Wano. The home of the samurai was ruined by Kaido and his massive army. To conquer the nation, Kaido killed Kazuki Odin and executed anyone who dared to go against him. This incident happened 20 years before the current timeline, and since then, the country of samurai has lived in constant fear. Little did they know that their lives would change once Luffy arrived on the shores of Wano. However, Luffy didn't directly go to the country. First, Luffy and his crew land on Punk Hazard, where they meet Kinemon and Mamonosuke. Luffy also met Law, who was planning to bring down Da Flamingo and ultimately Kaido. Since their motives aligned with each other, they formed an alliance to take down the King of Beasts. This began a long journey that spanned several One Piece arcs, including Dress Rosa, Zo, Whole Cake Island, and Wano. During this time, Luffy defeated the likes of Don Quixote da Flamingo, Charlotte Cracker, and Charlotte Katakuri. All of them were strong in their own ways, but none of them could compare to Kaido. The first meeting between the two ended in humiliation for Luffy, as he was utterly humiliated by the Yonko. It served as a reminder for the young pirate that he was not on Kaido's level and that he needed to improve. Luffy's new hockey power ups in Wano. After being beaten, Luffy was imprisoned in Udon in an attempt to break his spirit. Inside the prison, he met Yugoro, who taught him how to use advanced armament hockey, also known as Ryu in Wano. With this particular type of hockey, Luffy could destroy anything from the inside. Luffy managed to get rid of the explosive collars on himself and others. This was a massive upgrade on his previous level of hockey, and it came in handy against Kaido. When Luffy faced the Yonko again, the former's Ryu caused problems for his opponent. However, it proved to be insufficient to take down Kaido. Luffy noticed that not only did Kaido use advanced Busa Shoku Haki, but he also imbued his attacks with Hao Shoku Haki, enhancing their power even further. As the fight progressed, Luffy understood how Kaido managed to infuse the two into his attacks. When the supernova fully learned its application, his strikes became more lethal and capable of damaging the Yonko. Seeing Luffy's improvement brought a smile to Kaido's face. He knew that this young pirate could give him the fight of a lifetime. The Hirohito no Mi model, Nika, just when things were looking good for Luffy, Wernika decided to intervene which distracted the pirate at a very critical moment, resulting in his defeat. Kaido was not pleased with the interference, so he decided to attack the CP0 agent. He was confident that he had won the battle and that Wano would remain under his rule. However, the blow that knocked out Luffy turned out to be a blessing in disguise. It enabled the Nika to take over his body and awaken the true power of the devil fruit. The Hito Hito no Mi model, Nika is a mythical Zoan-type devil fruit that allows Luffy to take tap into the power of the sun god. When Luffy got up, his appearance was altered. His eyebrows and hair became white, and the color of his clothes changed as well. Luffy dubbed this form Gear 5. It gave him more freedom while fighting. Luffy turned into a giant and grabbed Kaido's body without any problem. Luffy's power also affected the environment and made it rubbery. He could freely manipulate his surroundings, as evidenced by the fact that he reflected Kaido's burrow breath straight at him. The Yonko was puzzled by Luffy's new power, as he had never seen anything like it in his life. Gear 5 nearly made Luffy indomitable, but there was one major weakness of the power-up, stamina consumption. While using Gear 5, Luffy looked exhausted at certain points. This implied that it took a lot of stamina to maintain the form, which is understandable considering Luffy awakened in the power on the spot. Even with the other gears, Luffy needed years worth of hard work to master them and eliminate all the negatives. When both Luffy and Kaido were on their last legs, they knew that they had to wrap up the fight before either of them passed out. Luffy used his Gear 5 power to create a massive fist that dwarfed the island of Onigashima. He imbued it with hockey to bypass his opponent's defense. In the meantime, Kaido created a gigantic flame dragon that was more than twice his size. The heat emanating from the Kaido's attack was strong enough to melt anything in its path. When the two attacks made contact, Luffy's Badrung gun sent Kaido to the depths of Wano, ending his reign. 
So Luffy needed the two hockey power-ups along with a Devil Fruit Awakening to defeat Kaido. And in other news, One Piece, the final power-up for every Straw Hat. The Straw Hat Pirates are an already accomplished crew in the One Piece world, having recently been titled an Emperor Crew. In Wano, they showed great growth as they successfully took down a Yonko, Kaido, and his powerful group of pirates in a very impressive manner. The Straw Hat Pirates are incredibly powerful right now, however, they still have room to grow, which just goes to show how frightening their potential really is. As the story ends, enters the final saga, it is now time for the Straw Hat Pirates to get their final power-ups. And while some of them are simply minor upgrades for some characters, others are going to receive major power boosts. Luffy Ancient Energy, Better Hockey Luffy has already reached his pinnacle as a fighter, as explained in Wano. However, there are still abilities that he can improve. Luffy still finds Gear 5 quite draining, and his control over this skill will only improve with time. Furthermore, his Conqueror's Hockey Infusion is also relatively new to him, and he can also improve in this aspect. Most importantly, Luffy appears to have the power to control ancient energy, which seemingly stems from his own Devil Fruit's Drums of Liberation. With this power, he was able to raise the ancient Iron Giant. Perhaps, controlling this power would be the ultimate power-up for Luffy. Zoro Azura with Hockey Zoro is already a master swordsman, who is not all that far from his goal at the moment. He has received all the major power-ups that he needs to reach the very top. He only needs to bring out his very best and train them often. Right now, Zoro needs to learn to control his hockey better since he cannot maintain his conqueror's hockey for long. Once he does that, he can incorporate this power with Azura, and that will most likely be his final power-up in one piece. Sanji's Scientific Power, Conqueror's Hockey, Future Sight Sanji is the cook of the Straw Hat Pirates and certainly one of their top three fighters. Sanji's major power-ups seem to stem from the manipulation related to lineage factor. By the end of the series, Sanji will most likely receive more power-ups related to it and get stronger than even the Seraphims, who are labeled the strongest humans ever created. Sanji will surpass them in terms of power, as there are already hints for it to happen. Furthermore, he could also gain access to other skills such as heightened observation hockey that lets him see the future, as well as the ability to wield conqueror's hockey, since he is a prince of a powerful kingdom, Jimbei Ryu. Jimbei is already a very skilled and respectable pirate in the One Piece world. He doesn't have as much potential to grow as the rest of the crew, however, he is still going to grow further. Jimbei possesses great mastery of fishman karate, and, as such, his power-up will likely not be related to it. It is possible that he will receive a hockey upgrade, perhaps gaining the ability of Ryu, which would help him deal internal damage to his enemies. Robin Hockey and Devil Fruit Awakening When it comes to the powerful fighters of the group, Robin certainly ranks among the very best. She relies on her Hana Hana Nomi in combat, however, it appears that she has taken this ability as far as she can. Her final power-up will most likely be Devil Fruit Awakening, and she's also in dire need of Hockey. For a pirate as strong as her, Hockey should be essential, and that is most likely what she will end up receiving soon. Frankie Battle Frankie 39 Frankie is the ship right of the Straw Hat Pirates, and he is certainly quite powerful. He was able to defeat one of the Tobarapo in Sasaki during the raid of Onigashima. His battle Frankie 38 was severely damaged in Wano, and it is quite clear that there is a need for an upgrade. With Vegapunk, he can develop a new version of this giant robot, and this model would likely be titled Battle Frankie 39. Vegapunk could incorporate the mechanics of his own Vega Force into it, making it very special. Brook under world thrust. Brook is a character for whom writing a new power-up is going to be extremely difficult for Odin. For the most part, he seems to be reliant on manipulating the chill of the underworld after the time skip. It is possible that Brook will take this skill to the next level and gain incredible ice manipulation powers. These powers would be weaker than the High High Nomi in some regards, however, still significant enough to give him a strength boost. Nami Weather Queen Nami will most likely gain power-ups in the future of One Piece as well, given that her power-ups have always been oriented towards weather manipulation. 
she is going to gain an ability that allows her to further that skill. Nami recently got access to Zeus, which lets her manipulate lightning according to will. She might get access to power-ups that improve her control over wind and other forms of weather manipulation. Zeus itself might also end up getting a significant boost in the final saga of One Piece. Chopper Devil Fruit Awakening Chopper is the doctor of the Straw Hat Pirates and certainly a skilled fighter. His Devil Fruit grants him several transformations that he can take, with Monster Point being the strongest. It hasn't been explicitly stated if Monster Point is his Devil Fruit Awakening, and fans will likely find out the answer to that in the final saga. If that's not the case, then Chopper will most likely receive yet another Devil Fruit transformation, which will be his awakening. This transformation would be his strongest state and offer him the best of all forms. You saw future side hockey, armament hockey. Usopp is the sniper of the crew, and he certainly is one of the weakest of the bunch. When it comes to battle power, he is certainly lacking, and in Wano, he certainly did not do enough to gain a power upgrade. As such, he is one of the characters who is in need of a power-up the most. Usopp's final power-up is most likely going to be hockey-related. Given that he is a sniper, gaining armament hockey as well as the ability to see the future would be perfect for him. That's a wrap for this video. Don't forget to like this video and and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back with more amazing videos very soon.